Let's go, <laughs> Mislavansky! Mislavansky! Luca! On today's show, we will get into Luca and Slovenia getting in his bag, and then we'll talk about some rumors. Kawhi Leonard. Oh. Kyle Lowry. We'll get into that coming up on Lockdown Maps. It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. I'm Luka Doncic, and this is Locked On Mavericks Podcast. Hey, hey, I don't believe you shouldn't be here. And welcome. You are locked on to the Dallas Mavericks Slovenia Lock- <laughs> podcast. My name is Nick Angstead, host and uh, <laughs> media member coordinator of Locked On Podcast Network. And joining me, as always, my co-host, contributor at Mavs.com. What you got for me, Isaac Harris? Luka Doncic. throwing me off my game he's been so good in this oh man recording this after after the game it's uh it's late so we have appreciation for all the european mffls that watch the mavericks all year and have to like stay up real late to watch games so we appreciate you guys i was gonna say i don't even want to complain about the time because it's like 1 30 but you know what so many of you guys get up all the time or get up late or Get up early, stay up late to watch Luca play basketball. So we're getting a taste of your medicine. And man, what an incredible Luca Doncic performance. One of the best Luca performances we've ever seen on the Is that wow. surprising? 48 wow. points? All right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's get let's get into it. But before we do, uh, this episode is brought to you by our Lockdown NBA Draft Show. The live show will be in Dallas, Texas at WFAA. Come watch Chad Ford, John Corrales and Rafael Barlow talk about the draft presented to you by Built Bar. Get local expert analysis on each and every pick. I'll be producing it. Follow Lockdown NBA on YouTube today. Go subscribe to that channel. Follow our live coverage on July 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern. All right. Luca, you just said this is one of the best performances we've ever seen from him at any stage. Yeah, uh, it's one of the it's one of the best Luca performances we've ever seen. It's, I mean, he he worked that game like like a legit magician that you would go pay to see like perform at like an arena or some like venue somewhere that he controlled that game. It felt like every player on the court for Argentina was the same age as Scola. And <laughs> it, it was just, I mean, from, from the opening tip, he hit three threes right in a row. It's like, Oh wow. Like this is one of these Luca games. And he was just in his back and there's nothing they could do. Nothing they could do to stop him. And I mean, do we know why LeBron didn't come to the Olympics? Because he's scared. He's scared <laughs> because Is I think we just I think we just seen the reason right there. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think he knew who the best player in the world was gonna uh, be in uh, be in Tokyo playing basketball. So he's like, Luka hey, Doncic, I, I'll just promote Space Jam. Luka Doncic and Slovenia beat Argentina 118 to 100, I believe, is the final score. Luka in 31 minutes, which by the way. Th- all the Olympic games, 10 minute quarters. So they're not going to, it's not, you know, same NBA, all that. You have to kind of extrapolate this out a little bit. 48 points. 48 points for Luca. 11 rebounds. He finishes with five assists. He gets three block shots as well, including a couple really good ones. One at the rim, one in the corner. He hit, he blocked a three point shot, which is wild. Uh, 18 of 29 from the floor. He was 6 of 14 on his threes. Only 6 of 7 from the free throw line. Only took 7 free throws. Scored 48 points. Like Isaac said, one of the best Luka Doncic performances we've ever seen. He was just in control from tip. Just absolutely incredible. And by the way, a plus minus of plus 34. (laughs) An incredible. Like they won by 18. Luka was plus 34. And there was other players on Slovenia that were negative like double digits, like like Luca Rupnik was minus fourteen on the same team. Just a wild game, and just to show how important Luca is. That when the bench is out there, they're losing by ten points, and when Luca's out there, they're dominating by thirty. Just 
an insane, insane game. Does this tell us more about Slovenia or about Argentina? Slovenia. I, I think we've seen that they have a team. I mean, we say we, we don't know the supporting cast that well. Like, no, I mean, I, do I want a Mike to- Toby Jersey? Maybe, um, maybe his jerseys aren't selling out as fast. Do we want any jerseys? The, shout out to anybody that was like us. It, basically like the sneakers app, just trying to get on this website, uh, stadion And we just completely like we had the, jerseys in our carts they dropped as soon as the game started we had the jerseys in our carts and then they just sold out we were so hyped we were so excited my wife helping me pick out which one was the best one and all that took too long took too long to get my wallet out all that and then just lost the jerseys in our cart shout out to everybody else that was like us nick nick tried to go to a different site and he goes hey you going to it and i just said i'm defeated you were down bad. I, I was, was, but was down bad. I would like a Mike Toby jersey. Apparently, they have a Slovenian Steph Curry that uh, Fran said on the broadcast. I think it was Fran. So I'm intrigued by this guy. But they just have dudes that can hit threes, and it like you see Luca do his thing. And I felt like every time he he kicked it out, like they would just hit a three, and it, it just seems like such a fun team. They obviously don't have you know the older uh, drug. I guess he's the older one, Goron. Um, yeah, I think Zoran's younger. Yeah, so it, it just seems like a fun team to watch play basketball. We're all on board. I mean, look at all of our branding for Locked on Mavs. We're locked on Slovenia now. This is part <laughs> yeah, of it. Go We're, follow our Twitter account now. I have a meeting like here in a few hours, um, and I told <laughs> Nick originally, I was like, hey, you know what? It starts at 1140. I'm just going to watch like the beginning of this game. And then so we pre-recorded the, the second and third segments, and because I'm like, um, I'm just going to go to sleep. I got to go to sleep. How do you go to sleep watching Luka Doncic play basketball? <laughs> Who's the dumbest person in the world? This guy, me. And I'm like, I just can't. I got to st- I got to stay up and watch this, especially when it was like, you know, it's tight. Like they took him out of the game. And it was like a, you know, they came back. It was like a one point game, two point game. They put Luka back in and it felt like they were up by 20 in literally like five minutes. It was it was like that though. It was zero to sixty, and Luca just took him there. He just no one had any answers. There, the Slovenia was it was so easy for them to get in the teeth of the defense, to get to that little like floater area inside the paint was just so easy. I mean, they the Argentina was trying so hard to not get Scola switched out on anybody because. Slovenia oh. would just drive by him. Anybody that had the ball would drive by Scola, uh, who's 41 years old, by the way, still holding on. Way to go, Sasha Baron Cohen, for your uh, your finest hour of, <laughs> of acting there. But, man, they just had no answer. Luca got a tech. We saw Luca get a technical. Got the full Luca experience. In the third quarter, it was, the, it was a full, full Luca experience. Absolutely, uh, for sure. Now, do the Olympics have a technical number do, if no we get clue. to if we get to 15 does he have to be suspended i don't think so uh we're learning all these different rules and enjoying it it's been great watch yourself some, some slovenia they are it's a real fun team to watch i'm excited to to get into this and keep following all these games As, especially after you know i think a lot of us seen the at least the end of you know team usa's game against france and how that unfolded and france beat them and you know all the hot takes you know, that were taking place uh-huh. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> no, just uh oh for Team USA. <laughs> you know, all the hot takes and that they're obviously the favorite to win gold, but you can't help to, you know, in the same day we've seen USA lose to France. It feels like they're in shambles trying to figure things out. And then we see arguably, I mean, the best player in Tokyo. I mean, it's either him or Durant, whatever you want to say. Durant scored 10 points against France today. Get out of here. Luca's the best player there. Yeah, Come it's on. like 40... 10 points. Get out of here, Durant. It's like you watch Luca put up 48 points tonight, and you're like, all right, like here we go. That's the best this, player. this is gonna be a lot of fun. And so yeah, we you know, Slovenia plays Japan coming up next. Then they get Spain coming up on Sunday, which will be a a, a great game. And I mean, they basically just need to win one more game for them to come out of the you know group stage. And then it's, you know, medal rounds then. Now, then we're getting fun. And I'm just so excited. We were talking about this during the game. I just want to see Luca fighting for a medal. Because if we thought we see, if we thought Luca was on a different level for like playoffs, not yeah. just like performance wise and entertainment wise, but like talking crap wise, he was doing gonna, it tonight. He was. And this dude's going to be all about it in the metal rounds. And I'm all here for it. Somebody asked me this question on Twitter. Who is 
Luca talking cr- talking crap to, like in a, in Tokyo. There are no fans. There's no one there. Like there's no one there except for people with the other teams. Who could Luca be screaming at? Is he just talking to the Argentina bench? Is he just? And I was like, hmm. Do we know? Do we know that Bob isn't in Tokyo? How Do far, we know this? How far is Greece to Tokyo? <laughs> um, I will say I did see Callie Kaplan, uh, who's doing great reporting for the Dallas Morning News. Yeah, in, she, in person. She tweeted out saying that he kept on looking at a place where scouts for Japan and Spain were setting. So I don't <laughs> get know. Get ready. If, he said, get ready. Or, or think- better. <laughs> Do you think the scouts for Japan were just like, like crapping themselves? Like, They're like there? who are you talking? Like, what are we? Sp- we're not. Saying what, are we, what are we supposed to do? We're not going to beat you. Like Rui's over there. Like what? Like what? Why do you have to? <laughs> uh, or it could just be like a Jordan type of thing, and Luca's just saying, "Hey, I'm just going to make up people in my head saying crap to me, and I'm just going to like <laughs> talk crap this whole." What do you think Luca's game. fake person's name is? Bob. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bob Rick. Quick. Bob Rick. That's his first and last name. <laughs> Bob Rick, Rick Bob. Go Rick oh, Bob. Oh, man. Uh, Luca, by the way, 48 points. Second most points in an Olympic basketball game. The first is Oscar Schmidt, the legend. Oh, OG. 50, 55 for A him. true goat. Oscar Luca Schmidt. Luca tied for second with 48. An incredible number for Luca. We'll be here. We'll be covering it just like this. But let's get into uh, Kawhi Leonard. Kyle Lowry, both rumored that the Mavericks are going to be going after those guys. We'll talk about the pros and cons. Talk about those rumors coming up. 